you do notice that he's pretty good with throwing that thing. Yeah, it's on so, the, um, too soon. Yeah. Um, yeah. So then, uh, but but it doesn't, since it's a very minor amount of damage, it doesn't break your stride, right? If it yeah. really, you know, had hurt you, then I would have dropped you down at the yeah. strike ranks. But you, but you are ready to just keep going. This It basically glances off the armor, grazing you, and you keep your run going, and you get within spear distance and and give him a good one, right? Yeah. So let's see what happens. Um, let's see how his shield. We believe uh, in you. <laughs> yeah. Let's see how his uh, his shield does. Okay then. Right. Uh, here and where is the? What happened to my percentage? Did I give it to you? Oh, I. Had, uh, <laughs> well, you keep those. You like them a lot, apparently. So, I'm not going to take them away from you. So, uh, wait, make your attack roll. Oh, 13. No, nope, not bad. Uh, what is your skill? 65. 65, uh, 20 percent. Oh. That is actually, is that, am I, am I mistaken? That's actually 20% of your spear, isn't it? 20% of 65 is 13. Is so... It? <laughs> yeah. I'm so, not good at math. No, what, but that's important because that's yeah, his yeah, chance yeah. for an impale. Yeah. Okay? It's not a critical, but it's the chance for an impale. So you're going to be doing a lot of extra damage with that. Okay? Um, of yeah, course, it's it all, 13. Yeah, yeah. Which is... Uh, I actually okay, made a table so recently. So lucky. Yeah. So, uh, so this is a... So, oh, and give up uh, uh, a, a hit location. Thirteen. Okay, which is yes, the uh, arm, the, the right arm. But on the other hand, we are still talking about his shield. Shield. Okay. So uh, he has. He's rather good with his shield parry, um, and he succeeds in his parry. Um, however, since your blow was successful, uh, and it was an impale, the damage is done to his shield. Um, and so we take the large shield. Um, and see what happens to it. Now shields are not, are, are quite sturdy objects. So we're going to. Uh, mm. Parrying an impaling blow. Ah, an impale which is parried by another weapon. If parried by a shield, the weapon will be stuck in the shield, unable to be removed until all combat is over and has five melee rounds to get it out. So basically, you really, like, rammed it into the shield. Um, okay, so basically, he probably will lose his shield and I will lose right, my... Any, right. Any damage done beyond the ability of the shield to absorb will hit the target. Yep. So it is time for you to roll your damage, after all. But let's see how much that thing stops. Nah, uh, nine. Well, hold on, hold on. That's an impale. Yeah. With an impale, what you do is you take the maximum damage it can do. Okay, 18. And then add what you rolled. Okay. So um, So what's 27? the maximum you could have done? Right. 18, because okay. it was fire blade. Uh, wait, wait, wait. No, that's not how it will work. No, you didn't. Okay. I don't think you had the fire blade running. Or did, yeah, yeah, you did. Yeah, yeah you, did. you cast it, and 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 all right. Yes, he did. So in that case, it's just the three die six. Okay. But the um, but the damage I don't think is going to be impaling because it, uh, it it replaces the damage. Okay. 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 Remember. Yeah. So, uh, but it, the the rule still applies. We're going to see how much gets through. Okay. So nine was nine. the okay. Yeah. So then um. The uh, armor statistics, shield statistics, finally. Okay, well, it absorbs 16 points. Uh -huh. So and it basically rams in there, and there's a huge sizzling noise, you know, from the, the fire, and your spear is basically trapped in the shield. And um, there you go. If the weapon has an encumbrance of two or more, which your, steel, your spear does, the shield is useless. At least something. Right. Um, yeah. And so, yeah. What's that? 
the he got rid of the shield. Oh yeah, absolutely. So. Yeah, he so you know the rams it in there. So uh, his next move then is going to have to be. Um, he's going to have to do some things. He's going to lose some strike ranks while he gets the, you know, mm. gets the shield off. And um, uh, he has the, uh, right now, let's see, he has the, the javelin in one hand um, and, uh, yeah, he's going to, yeah. So he's he's got a bunch of stuff to do. Mm. Um, he's going to, uh, you know, get rid of the shield. He's going to, uh, basically take out a fairly hefty ax, a longer one than you have, um, which he has available. Um, and so get ready this, this longer ax and the javelin in the other hand. Um, and so this is going here. So that's going to be uh, preparing a weapon, changing weapon or another. It takes five strike ranks. Um, and so um, changing, dropping it, and drawing another, right? That's good, okay. Um, drawing a sword, unlimbering sheet, two actions. This is actually going to take him 10 strike ranks. So... I'm going to take me 10 strike ranks as well just to get up my sword. Three. Yeah. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So he's not going to be able to attack or move. So his next action is going to start on two. So however many it takes is going to go from two. Yeah. So that's where he's at in the future when hmm. we wrap around. So then, uh, so that's, he's busy doing that. Um, I'm asking you, what are you going to do? I'm going to draw my sword. Okay, so that's going to take you five. Yeah. Because you don't have anything else. You've lost no. your spears. So yeah. Forget all that. So um, so you are going to be one, two, three, four, five. So you're going to be here, draw. So from whatever you do from there, you're going to be. Yeah, so I'm going right. to attack at 11. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, well, we'll, we'll yeah, get yeah, there. We'll, we'll get there. So then finally, Skava arrives after all this drama. And... Thirty-six. Okay, and, uh, it's fifty. Absolutely. So please I give a uh, please uh, roll twenty for your hit location. Wow. Uh, more right uh, leg. That's that's a d twelve. Oh yeah, it's a d twelve. Well, so twenty. Sorry. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Great big one. The golf ball. Fourteen. Oh, that's a good one. Right. Oh no, um, you missed the chest. No, no, no. No, right arm. Okay, so um. um so you're you're probably coming in with some kind of like sideways strike is my thinking. So now before we roll damage, let's see how he does because um, he did have that javelin in the other hand. So now he's going to uh, parry, um, succeeding with his parry. Um, but the question here now is that um, when. So you the the way this works is that since you succeeded in your attack, he succeeded in his parry, his weapon is going to take the damage. If I have ten hit points on my weapon on my spear, he probably has less. So um, if you were yeah, lucky, that's you a, can cut it in half. Creating two weapons for him. <laughs> <laughs> no, if you're lucky, you will you will uh, take that javelin out and the javelin has uh, uh, 10 hit points. So let's see how you do. Oh, cool. <laughs> okay. So, um, so yeah, his javelin has been hit for two. Okay. So, um, so yeah, basically, on the other hand, that does a whole lot against him. Uh, that does a whole lot against him getting his axe ready. So his choice now is to just give up on the axe and concentrate with javelin fighting now that he has actually two combatants in front of him, right? Um, and so uh, let's also take a look at some of his other, yeah, some of his other things that he might do. 
So, uh, that's you where you came in with the sword, and now we have Urko, and that's where you are finally getting your sword yep. drawn and, and ready, right? So, um, th- so Urko. Yes. Throwing in this power, and uh, uh, basically, you know, invoking infinity, you know, in some fashion or another. Um, And this is effectively, uh, let me move over to some rune magic fun here and (laughs) see what, uh, see how I can interpret the rules. Um, Right. What you've just done, what you have just done is you have, uh, uh, I hope not. It's two for one. You put in five. Um, there's going to be a consequence of this, which is extremely scary for you, which is that some of this power may not come back. This may actually, you may have actually sacrificed power for rune magic. Like a way a priest would. Hmm. So that's it would, and it's two for one. So the for rune magic, so it's not like all five power are going to be gone, but two of them, okay, potentially might not come back. So um, the uh, but the effect is of five power. You know, uh, is attack you yeah. know on him, um, and so let's. Uh, Let's begin. I'm trying to think of the the. Um, yeah, I'm I'm trying to think of uh, of the effect, you know, from the rune magic list that that I want. Boy, this is a causing a lot more improv- improvisation than I expected. <laughs> um, uh, when you make up cults, you make up rune magic. You know, yeah. special mm-hmm. spells. Yeah. So, like, the Book of Cults is, like, full of all these wild spells that go with each cult. Um, I confess I haven't done this for the Infinity Cult yet, right? <laughs> so, or for this being. Um, so, therefore, um, give me a moment. If nothing else, Erko is going to scare me off my wits because I was <laughs> counting on him to use his exes. That's right. It's like, that's right. You... <laughs> Um, well, I so, haven't got my gnome yet, so... That's right. Hopefully Go ahead and... Be, um, yeah. Demoralizing for the rest of them. So. Yeah. yeah. Um, let's... Uh, Scare them to submission. Yeah. Characteristics of rune spells. All rune magic spells probably always be twice as strong of a battle magic spell of the same power. Um, and... Just want to see if there's any interesting points about like how it's cast. Casting of oh, casting runes is not okay. Okay, right. Okay, I've read the rules. Um, first of all, um, you have. Uh, achieved a two-point rune magic spell that you have just validated the resurrected god through what is effectively an act of worship sacrificing power to it. You receive a two-point rune spell which is going to come in on him as a four-point you know, four-point spell relative to any protection that he may have. And now you're going to um, to basically roll to hit him. 